All right, today we're going to go over a very common question that we run into, and it's how to do a proper plank. So we're here with our trainer, Johnny, and he's going to take us through that. So I'm going to have him get into a plank position by having his feet a little bit uh, about shoulder width or hip width, and he's going to lift up. When he's lifting up, we want to see his back's nice and flat. By activating his glutes, you can see his back stays nice and flat. Some of the common pitfalls or errors we'll see is people will arch their back, and that will bring their butt way up into a piked position, so we want to keep that down. And the other common problem we'll see is they'll drop their butt too low and still sag their back, so you'll see an arch in the back. So we want to see it up nice and flat, and that looks perfect. Another thing that sometimes people struggle with is the upper body part of the plank, and sometimes they forget about it. So we want to make sure you're keeping your shoulders over your elbows, and you're keeping your neck extended, slightly tucked chin, which is perfect how he's doing it, and then push away with the upper body. So you get that upper back is also nice and flat like the low back, and that's a perfect plank position. Another common error we'll see is people will try to hold the plank for way too long. So we try to tell people to hold it about 10 seconds when they're going through a rehab program. And that may change if they're doing more of a fitness training program, but 10 seconds is a good amount of time and then doing that for repetitions.